In Sobrevivencia, less is more. Today, I'm sharing with you three fundamental areas where this is true, and I'm going to give you examples of each. Before we jump into that, if you're loving the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon so that you don't miss any future content and avail yourself of the free resources. The most important one is the no-cost cane clarity call. Text the letters to the number on the screen in less than 24 hours. We will be on a phone call with you answering all your questions, especially if you're brand new to this, as to how it is you can get trained in the comfort of wherever you are, answer all your questions, and also you have free uh, Facebook groups that you can just request entry and they will let you write in, read, and, and hit the click the, the link in the description below. In sobrevivencia, less is more. What does that mean? I'm going to give you three fundamental areas. The first one is in the training itself. Now, think about that for a moment. How do you get better at anything? Well, you more training, and the idea is more. Yet, I've never heard the founder say and encourage anybody to train more. Rather, what he says is to train how often? Every day, right? That's the way he says it. Everyday training implies consistency is more important than the actual quantity of the work. So consistency and quality in sobrevivencia are more important. And we don't put a timeline on that because it all depends where you are. See, sobrevivencia meets you right where you are. You have to take into consideration your physical limitations, any injuries you've had, what your previous experience is. The beauty of sobrevivencia is you can get started right where you are because it's based on natural movements that you already know how to do. And we always tell everybody, we're not going to, you've been walking your entire life. We're not going to teach you how to start doing that. We're going to show you in that movement how those movements turn into self-protection. There are extensions, right? When you extend those movements and you have this aha moment, not just that, how to train your body. So, so events is never about more training or harder training. And please don't get me wrong. It leads me to... Um, the second uh, component where less is more. You're no longer, you, you find yourself, you know, because of, of age and, and just, you know, wear and tear that you're no longer the fastest, the strongest, the youngest. And that's totally fine. So it says, that's fine. You acknowledge that. That's the first step. Why? Because continuing to try to do, not knowing those limitations and continuing to train and trying to do things the way you did them, perhaps when you were in your 20s and your 30s, um, if you're doing them exactly the same way, then you might end up frustrated because it can lead to injury and so on and so forth. That's no way to progress. You say, this is where I am right now. Here's a big, big sobrevivencia word. Are you ready? It's the word inventory. When we use that word, everybody always assumes that it's taking inventory of the surroundings of your opponent of this is true. But before you did any of that, you take an inventory of yourself and the stage that you're at right now in your life. And you look at that and you say, hey, how can I make this better? So this is one of the, one of the few arts that looks not just at um, what everybody else does so that you can integrate that, but looks at what everybody else does. And what I'm talking about are combative arts um, and the tendencies of those arts. But what we're studying there, as per the founder, are the weaknesses so that we know, which leads me to the third area is going to be in the actual application. But going back to not being the fastest, the strongest, so how do you do that? Don't get me wrong. We still want you to train to gain not just to maintain. Let me say that again. You're training to gain, not just to maintain. The reason for it is because as the years go by, if you just train to maintain, you're actually going to go from here to here. So we do train, but we do it with consistency and in areas where you no longer have to be the, the biggest, the strongest, the fastest, right? And that leads to application. Application in two areas. So 
if I'm not doing this with physical strength and you're doing it with speed, but not because you're necessarily faster physically, you're faster up here, you're faster with timing and you're faster with reading what's developing and not being there in the first place. That is huge. The other area is in the area of the tools themselves that you're using. So we mentioned the main tool is the cane. Obviously, that's why we're here, right? But it's really taking anything that you have in your hand as such. Let's take a look at those canes. When you think of cane, traditionally, American Cane Self-Defense and the American Cane Arts, it's all about, I'm digging into my private collection here, still have this um, in, in, in the wrapper. This is an original octagonal triple gripper from back in the day. This thing, look how thick that is. This is an absolute bazooka. This is the power training, the canes that we used to use for power training. Now, if you've been doing this for 20, 30 years, maybe, maybe you could be feeling this in the wrist and the forearms. Not only that, I mean, you got to really be, it's a bazooka. But Sobrevivencia says, it's not about it being a bazooka. Who cares if it's a bazooka if you can't hit your intended target when you need to hit it? Did you hear that? Not just where you need to hit, but when you need to hit. If you can't be the quickest draw anymore, then sobrevivencia out of necessity. Learn to become real effective with something that's very simple and very light. There's no comparison. And this is a tremendous cane. I love it so much, I have it in wraps. Nowadays, this thing with SV is, you know, the training happens here. The tool happens here. Why? Because you can be faster, quicker with something like this. And when you know what you're doing in a movement-based art that prioritizes anatomical targeting, you know what it is you're doing. You have the strategy in place that can be bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, that changes the game. And so what events is changing the game for many of you that are over the age. Now, listen, when I say over the age of 50, what if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, you're seeing this and say, man, this is cool. I can, can I be a part of that? Of course you can. The founder always talks about, you know, the best time to do this is when you're younger because by the time, you know, when as the years go by, you already started the training. But it's Nev you're, you're never too late to do this because the nature of SV is to meet you right where you are, which leads me to on October 24th, we're going to have, it's a, on a Thursday, a pop-up session. That means, hey, it's out of the blue. It's not tied into anything else. And it's open to everyone, regardless of whether you are learning of this for the first time or you're already training, uh, you want to become an instructor, you're an experienced caner, doesn't matter. I don't care who you're affiliated with, um, but it's going to be on the foundation. And the reason that I'm doing, I'm actually doing five different pop-ups from October through February, one a month be leading up to winter cane immersion. It was originally designed for those that are coming to Miami, winter cane immersion 2025. Uh, it's already 50% um, to capacity. If you have an interest in that, please reach out to the headquarters. Um, but it, it's designed so that when you get here, you're already familiar with these uh, concepts and skills so that we can introduce new material. Now, the reason why we're, it's so effective is because we're going to do this through Zoom, the way, the way that we do our, our training. And we're going to go from about an hour, right? So we, we're doing this at 1145 Eastern time. And I'm never in a rush. So sometimes it can go over, um, uh, you know, over the hour. That's okay if you can't attend live because it's filmed, it's recorded, and you get to keep that recording. And I want you to keep it. The reason is I want you to reference it, I want you to practice it, so that if you are coming down in uh, in February to Winter King Immersion, then you already have it there. Listen, if you're not coming down to Winter King, that's fine, you still have it there. And I I think you're gonna, you know, if you're into Sobrevivencia, uh, why would you not? Um, you know, want to be a part of this and avail yourself of this training. So that's it. Isn't it great that you, you have an art that as years go by, now you don't have the stressors of, yeah, no, we acknowledge, we, we know where we're at, but we train regularly, we train consistently, we train effectively, efficiently, and enjoyably. 
That is the formula. Go ahead and comment below if you have questions, and I'll see you on the next video.